Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Finds TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. That was so calming. Now let's see what happened today in history with Aiden. Thank you, Peyton. Hello, Patriots. Today on May 3rd, 1494, Christopher Columbus discovered St. Lago, which is later renamed Jamaica. He discovered the island when he was on a second voyage to the West Indies to spread Christianity and attempt to convert the indigenous Americans. On his way, he had discovered an island that had been described to him as the land blessed in gold. Upon arrival, he had discovered that there had been no amount of gold on the island. Little did he know, hundreds of years later, they would make a whole lot of money from tourism. Now let's see what's for lunch with Zarmel. Thank you, Aiden. Today's tasty lunch is cheeseburger, turkey ham and cheese sandwich, fresh carrots, potato wedges, diced pears, and your trace in milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, cinnamon graham crackers, cocoa puffs, fresh fruit, Juice and your taste and milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time and enter our brand lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Zarmel. Students, this quarter's instructional software challenge ends on June 2nd. There's still a lot of time to complete this challenge, so check the flyer for the requirements and keep passing those lessons. Scholars, the state testing season is continuing today with 7th and 8th graders taking their reading fast tests. Good luck! Patriots, don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Sports fans, tomorrow our girls flag football team has a game against RASG at Flamingo Park at 4 p.m. Good luck, girls, and let's go Patriots. On May 23rd at 6 p.m., our performing arts department will be presenting the spring music concert. It's $5 cash at the door per person to get in and all funds will go to the music department. I can't wait. The Lip Sync Battle is coming up and will be hosted by the Pines Cheerleaders on May 18th at 6.30 p.m. If any of you students want to sign up, make sure to stop by Ms. Stone's room or ask your teacher for a permission slip slash song choice approval form. Free sales are going to be available this week on My School Books. With all these shows coming up, the year is sure to end great. Students, remember the Patriot Stories open every morning. Tomorrow morning is the 7th and 8th graders' turn to go. Don't forget your tickets. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Tatiana. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather is expected to be a nice 92 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy skies. In other weather news, have you ever seen a bear inside a garbage bin? Well, a principal in West Virginia encountered one. He was removing a bear lock, which is designed to keep bears out, when suddenly a bear came out of the garbage. Yikes. Some things that might bring bears to where humans live are garbage, including pet food, and grease from a barbecue grill. What would you do if you ever saw a bear inside your garbage? Now let's go to Jose for our birthdays. Thank you, Tatiana. Today's birthday boys and girls are Nandy Crump, Kaylee Robinson, and Maya Campbell. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Jose. 
Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Gregg, and Ms. Carey. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what kind of tree can you carry in your hand? The answer was a palm tree. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Move exactly one matchstick to make this equation correct. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV Web wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.